Over the past decade, illicit trade has grown into a global phenomenon of far-reaching proportions and causing unprecedented human, social, economic, political, and environmental harm. It undermines sustainable economic development and has also become the primary source of funding for transnational organized criminal networks. In July and August 2012, Interpol and the World Customs Organization deployed Operation Meerkat across eastern and southern Africa. This operation, in fact, is the first one we can say uh, conducted in this particular sector, in this region. We have also to remind it's a joint operation between uh, WCO and Interpol. In the first phase, we have recorded uh, a good number of seizures, uh, which were carried out by both police and customs. As uh, we have discussed also during the preparation of this uh, operation, uh, we believe that uh, we have to um, establish a sustainable uh, approach uh, for this region in order to support the activities which already are undertaken. The focus of Operation Meerkat was to concentrate law enforcement efforts in combating the trafficking of illicit tobacco and alcoholic beverages, two product sectors which are highly affected in the region. To most of these uh, seaports, it arrives a lot of uh, products and uh, containers coming from uh, different parts of the world that are going straight to um, landlocked countries such as Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Botswana. So that's why it's so important that the authorities continue performing this kind of strict control on the containers and the merchandise, merchandise arriving to this region. Our country is losing a lot of revenue every year. Uh, due to illicit trafficking of um, cigarettes and other tobacco products. We are losing about between 3 and 4 billion rand each year uh, on, on revenue, which it's, uh, it, it is very important for us um, to, to try to apprehend the people responsible for this type of crimes. The main challenge that we face is obviously the understanding of the volume of these illicit goods that are coming into the country. Uh, as well as the monitoring and patrolling our borderlines because we have uh, quite a vast and expansive borderline where these goods come across. So uh, monitoring and, and enforcing those kind of actions is, is one of our key challenges at the moment. Operations require several weeks of careful planning, preparation and integrated training with close cooperation and coordination between all the agencies and organizations involved. Police and customs officials work together to patrol land, sea, and airport border control points, checking vehicles, boats, and containers for illicit goods. Raids at marketplaces and shops were also carried out. Operation Meerkat has again revealed increasingly elaborate methods used by transnational organized criminal groups to traffic illicit goods. Uh, traffickers, they prepare a concealed area inside this bus in the underneath part and they hide, they, they hide these uh, tobacco products. These are part of the original cons consignment that it was uh, hidden. This uh, place, it was uh, intervened some weeks ago and the, it was uh, part of uh, an intelligence gathering from the private sector that it was uh, that gave place to an intervention performed by customs and an investigation that is currently performed by the police so this whole uh, consignment it's it's uh, valued around 1 million euros and you see it's a big uh, amount of cigarettes from many different brands and the main problem they have, I mean, the infraction that they have is that this is a licit product, but it was hidden from the authority to avoid paying taxes. So that will, of course, imply that that money won't come for the government and it will go straight to the counterfeiters and, and to, the, to the smugglers. The resources required to police millions of movements of merchandise across borders involve close cooperation between officers skilled in prevention, intelligence, detection and investigation. This logo or seal that you find here, that they call the South African diamond, it must be included in each one of the legal cigarette packages. But we don't see it here. So this is an illegal product. The operational coordination units monitored the exchange of information between the participating countries, with additional support and tools being provided by Interpol's regional bureaus of Eastern and Southern Africa. 
Those arrested during the interventions have their names checked against Interpol databases. They will take the names and will they, they will make the checks in the database. But this is only at the international level. But our colleagues here in the, in the economic branch and the tobacco area, they are also doing the same checks in the national databases. Police carried out 40 interventions during Operation Meerkat, which led to the seizure of more than 32 million sticks of cigarettes, 134 tons of raw tobacco, and 2,844 litres of alcohol. Once the criminal proceedings are concluded, the seized goods will be sent to central warehouses where they will be destroyed. Operations like Operation Meerkat is playing a vital role um, to connect people um, from the different countries so that we can liaise uh, during these operations and it's also operational sort of uh, interventions that you can, can do through that. The uh, engagement with the WCO and Interpol in terms of spearheading this kind of operation is very important uh, and it, it gives us an opportunity to network with other countries to utilize the electronic uh, tools that are available to communicate and share information as well as the seizure data on uh, interdictions that are conducted in the countries. It also gives us an opportunity to share uh, some of the risks that, that are being identified within countries. So the WCO um, and Interpol's engagement with this operation is very important and we appreciate and we support it. Certainly this operation has shown the possibility, the great uh, potential of the cooperation between police and customs at national level, as well as by the relevant agencies internationally. Uh, these seizures, uh, some of the seizures recorded are significant, and uh, what is also important to underline is that uh, the job is not concluded here. The exchange of information which uh, occurred uh, amongst the different agencies involved um, certainly will lead to additional seizures in the forthcoming weeks.